The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus went to the Mount of Olives, but early in the morning, he arrived again in the temple area, and all the people started coming to him, and he sat down and taught them. Then the scribes and the Pharisees brought a woman who had been caught in adultery and made her stand in the middle. They said to him, Teacher, this woman was caught in the very act of committing adultery. Now, in the law, Moses commanded us to stone such, a, such women. So what do you say? They said this to test him, so that they could have some charge to bring against him. Jesus bent down and began to write on the ground with his finger. But when they continued asking him, he straightened up and said to them, Let the one among you who is without sin be the first one to throw a stone to her. Again he bent down and wrote on the ground. And in response, they went away one by one, beginning with the elders. So he was left alone with the woman before him. Then Jesus straightened up and said to her, Woman, where are they? Has no one condemned you? She replied, No one, sir. Then Jesus said, Neither do I condemn you. Go, and from now on, do not sin anymore. Sisters and brothers, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Sisters and brothers, this is the last Sunday before the Palm Sunday of the Lord's Passion. The, we are entering into the Holy Week. Although it is Lent, there is today a certain note of joy coming from the expectation of Easter. God created and always creates something new. In the time of the second Isaiah in the first reading, that was the return from exile, it says, Remember not the events of the past, the things of long ago, consider not. And I am doing something new. And in St. Paul, his conversion in, in Damascus marked the beginning of his new life in Christ so that he experienced the power of the Lord's resurrection. This is in the second reading. And we have in the gospel, the woman caught in adultery received forgiveness of her sins and thus a new life in Christ. So as you see, we are, we can a fifth Sunday of Lent, but we feel something, we may say refreshing, something that gives joy. In the gospel, sisters and brothers, this is one of the finest uh, gospels describing Christ's goodness and kindness. If the prodigal son, we may consider as the finest of the parables, uh, this woman, this woman caught in adultery today in the gospel is also something we can say, the, one of the finest in the Bible. Sisters and brothers, last Sunday, we ponder on the prodigal son, the great parable of divine mercy. Today, we see divine mercy in action. 
revealed through Jesus' encounter with the woman caught in adultery. Such a woman has to be put to death. We read in Leviticus, in chapter 20, verse 10, If a man commits adultery with his neighbor, wife, both the adulterer and the adulteress shall be put to death. And in Deuteronomy chapter 22, 22 to 24, says, If a man is divorced, having relations with a woman who is married to another, both the man and the woman he has had relations shall die. If within a city a man comes upon a maiden who is betrothed and has relations with her, you shall bring them both out of the gate of the city and there stone them to death. These are, we may say, the readings that testify to what the punishment them. Here in the Gospel, the scribes and the Pharisees want to put Christ in dilemma. If he lets the woman go away free, he is against the law of Moses. If he favors the woman's stoning, they, they, they can accuse him of being cruel. In any case, sisters and brothers, Jesus has no way out. Nilagay niya sa dilemma. Therefore, the naked truth, sisters and brothers, is that the religious leaders are reducing the pitiable woman to a kind of victim, the kind pinapagawang pain. So, the real target is Jesus. And their true agenda is to ensnare Jesus in his speech. And the woman standing before those people are ready to stone her. Christ answers them indirectly and tells them, He who has no sin cast the first stone. Sino man sa inyo na walang kasalanan ay siyang maunang bumato sa kanya. Christ knows and sees their hearts. Embarrassed, they left one by one from the eldest until only Jesus and the woman are left. St. Augustine puts in his commentary, Left are the two, mystery and mercy. In Latin, it would be more beautiful, mystera et misericordia, ang sabi ni St. Augustine. Now, there are two left, mystera, the woman, et misericordia, Jesus. Mystery and mercy. Sisters and brothers, Christ does not condemn her, but neither does he deny that he has sinned. The parable, uh, so to say, telling her, you may go, but from now on, avoid this sin. He acknowledges that the woman has sinned, but he does not condemn her right under. He said to him, Go, but from now on, avoid this sin. Sisters and brothers, hate the sin, but save the sinner. The prophecy of Isaiah in the first reading is being fulfilled in her. She hears with the ear of her heart Jesus saying to her, no need to recall the past. No need to think about what was done before. See, I am doing a new deed. Sisters and brothers, a new deed. 
is overcoming her sin with love. It is like opening a spring of fresh water in the middle of the barren desert. I do not condemn you. Go and sin no more. Sisters and brothers, how beautiful the words of Jesus. I do not condemn you. Go and sin no more. Jesus' action shows his mercy and love, compassion. While people, we, are sinners, we accuse others, condemn them. Sisters and brothers, here Jesus does not condemn. She give, Jesus gives chances. Go and sin no more. Sisters and brothers, the woman represents all of us. We are sinners, perhaps worse than she was. We have not been publicly exposed because God is so gentle with us. During the next few days, sisters and brothers, we are entering into a solemn time, the Holy Week, and people will be going to confession, and you have started to go to confession. This is the time when we acknowledge our sinfulness and then confess. And Jesus would tell us, I do not condemn you. Go and sin no more. Sisters and brothers, we are all sinners. But sinners, maaring sabihin ng marami, Oh, wala akong ah, mortal sin. Mga vinyal lamang. But vinyal are sins eh, that we can in a way have to confess. Eh. Sisters and brothers, eh, when we have been away from God for a long time, like the prodigal son, it is like a homecoming full of guilt. We seek restoration, forgiveness from God. And all are welcome. That is why the words of Jesus today to this sinful woman, I do not condemn you. Go and sin no more. Amen. That's all, son.